Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something that's very recommended in my comments on my streams and that is how to work OBS or how to stream in my HD quality, how to have music in the background, how to have my overlays, how to have like the pictures up, the subscribers, all this kind of stuff. So in this video I'm going to cover all of them, how to add music in the background, how to work it, how to stream, how to record and what my settings are. So I mean, some of the settings I have may not be great for you, but this is this is what works for me, and a lot of the settings have to be changed, and a lot of them will be a lot of them will work with your computer as well as mine. But yeah, let's just get straight into this. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to open up OBS. So just now I've just got OBS down here, just ready to open. So you're going to launch it, however however you launch OBS. But we want to get onto a screen. We want to get into OBS. I've got the studio version. And this works with any other version of OBS. They're more or less the same. Just stuff is different places, but everything's here, so they're both the same. But, so yeah, so first what you want to do is you want to come down here and click add, or click the add button, but I just right, I just right click and click add, but again you can click, click the add button. So click add, I'm just going to rename this to YouTube, you can name this to whatever you want, uh, if I could spell this would be great, there we go. So now, now I've just got a blank screen, now what, what you want to do first is you want to come to the sources, so I, we were in the scenes just a second ago, but now I want to go into the sources. So again, you can click the add button, I like, like right clicking, add, and then what we're going to do first is add a game capture. So depending on what you're doing, for just now, when I'm recording this, like this OBS, I'm, I'm recording OBS with OBS, I use a display capture. This is if you want to maybe play a game online, maybe something that records your, your, your Chrome or Internet Explorer, whatever you're using. But if you want to stream Minecraft or record Minecraft or GTA, any, most any full screen game, you want to click game capture. So game capture. After that, uh, I just keep it as this. I mean, you could call it Minecraft if you really wanted to. So uh, there you go. And then just leave all these features. Uh, just leave all these the way it is, just the default. I mean, you can change this up here. Capture any full screen application. You can change it to Minecraft, but you have to have Minecraft opened first for that to work. But I just prefer keeping it on. I just don't touch any of the settings on this one. So as you can see, it's still a blank screen. Now that is because we don't actually have Minecraft open. So if you have Minecraft open or any other full screen game, it, it should automatically, once you click on the game and you're in full screen mode, it should automatically come up. I'll show you that at the end of the, uh, nearer, nearer on the video, nearer to the end, sorry. So the next step is coming down here and then you want to click add. And this is if you want to add music. We'll go on to how to add overlays in a second, but for just now we're going to do music. So if you want to add music, you want to come to add and then this little thing over here called media source. Again, you can name this to whatever you want. I don't care. No one cares. What is ever easy for you? I just keep it on default because it's easier for me for just for just now. And then you want to come here. So this is where you're going to put the the file source or the file location of the file, uh, like it says there. Uh, I usually take loop because if I'm streaming for maybe a couple of hours, I want the music to keep playing without me clicking another one. So again, you can have that ticked or not. You want to come to browse, and then I've already got a folder. I've already got into this folder here. Uh, so I just kept it on my desktop, I named it YouTube OBS, and I downloaded um, I downloaded some NCS, and it's uh, No Copyright Sounds, uh, their music is copyright as long as you put them in your description, or mention them somewhere on your channel, uh, you have to go into their channel to look at the requirements, but I use this music, and yeah, it's 30 songs, it's about 2 hours long, so it kind of, it kind of there's a whole load of songs in there, so you don't really hear many repeats. Uh, so this is if you're streaming, this is kind of if you're streaming. So I just click click this file, click open, and then OK. So now you can see, I mean you can't hear it just now because I'm not recording this, but here here's the sound. I'm just going to click uh, this off just now. But you get the point, you can have this on, you can turn it down because see if it, when I'm talking, let me see if you look at this, the music's actually louder than me talking, so I tend to move this all the way down to here. Like that. So see when you're not talking, so I'll not talk just now. The music is right up to there, so it's in level with when I'm not talking, it should be as loud. It should be loud enough to, you know, not go over my, my speaking, so people can't actually hear you, that's quite important. You don't want to have recording where it's like, boom, 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 you can't actually hear you talk. That kind of defeats the purpose of the video. But anyway, so that, that's a tune playing for two hours, it's on loop, it can play for as, as many, for as many hours as you want to record. But anyway, after you've done that, you want to click come to add again. Now this is if you want to have an overlay, so I'm going to click on image, OK, again, name it, whatever you want, browse, this should take me to my YouTube OBS again, as you can see, I should be able to click, oh, no I can't, that's fine, that's fine, doesn't matter, 
You should have something PNG, GIF, as again, all these different types, but usually it should come up first. Uh, so this is my overlay, I could just click on it, click open, and then there it is up there. It's already scaled, it's all perfect size. If you want to know how to make overlays, you can go and I can make a video or you can search it somewhere else, but again, speak in the comments and stuff like that, and tell me what you want. So I've just got my Twitter up there, and that's obviously my YouTube name, and I have my sub count up here. I've just have mine over here, just click on live sub count. I feel like, yep, sorry, there we go, add. And then it adds a website, and then I can just resize it to whatever I want, put it in the wee box over here, just like that, and voila. There it is up there. I mean, I can show you how to do it in another tutorial, but uh, it is a plugin with an OBS you have to download, but that's more or less my YouTube setup. That's that's all my YouTube setup, the looks of it, the sound, quality, that's all that done. So, yeah, let's go up to the settings. So what you want to do is you want to, once you're on this page, you want to come up to file and you want to go over to, so file, settings. Once you're in settings, you come up with whole load of menus. Now, I'm going to go through each one of them and show you my settings so you can change what you want. I'm just going to go through them and configure them and show you what's good. So, that these are my settings, I mean, they might not work for you, but majority of these settings will work more or less 100%. Just depends what you're doing. I can explain that when I come to them. But yeah, I've got mine on a dark theme. I mean, default is is white. I quite like my dark. It's does it's not it doesn't hurt your eyes when you're streaming quite late as well. That's quite important because I've got two screens. So yeah. Anyway, so mine's on language. This page isn't that important. I mean, you can copy this if you want to, but this is just this is just it. This is a, the streaming part now. If you want to stream to YouTube or Twitch, this is quite important now. Nobody, you should never ever show your stream key to anyone. This is private. If somebody gets a hold of this, they can stream on their account. I'm sorry, stream on, stream to your account. Uh, so maybe if, if I gave this away by accident, somebody on another YouTube channel could use this code and then stream to my YouTube channel. So definitely never give this away no matter what. But if you want to stream, depend on YouTube, you've got a whole lot of selections of different streaming services. I, I have YouTube. And yeah, you can just leave the server, it usually automatically does it. And then you type in your stream key, whatever that is. Now you can go to YouTube or you can search up how to find it, but you should find it on your actual live stream page. It should be at the bottom, you just click it, it should be called stream key, copy and paste it, put it in here, and then that's done. So you want to come to output, and this is one of the most important things. This is where people have the problems. So I click advanced, as simple as you don't get much advanced, and then you can go through recording, audio, and streaming. So streaming. I just have mine set to this. Now, I use my graphics card, or whatever this is, I'm sure this is my graphics card. You can have it times uh, times 264, it doesn't make a difference, this isn't that important. But I'd select your graphics card or whatever comes up, another alternative should be quite um, useful. Yep, uh, res res rescale, sorry, output. Don't tick this because you don't want your video being different sizes. Unless you have a smaller screen, then you might want to tick this and then put it to put it to this thing here, this is like HD, but it's already defaulted to that because my screens, they are that. Um, bitrate, you want to have yours, I have mine at 2500, now uh, that is quite an important thing as well, you want to have that here. Now I have these at high quality, You again, depending on how good your computer is, you want to set these lower and just test it really, you want to record and if it's not that good you can change this stuff, or if you're streaming you can change it. I have mine set to main. So uh, I think this is quite an important one as well. You want to have yours on main, and then the levels on auto. So once you've done that, that's more or less that set up. It's not it's not that hard, but it is kind of important. If you want to do a recording, again, this is what you want to select. Make sure this is MP4. I just have this on one again. I think it's my graphics card, and yeah, most of these settings. The bit rate I have mine up at uh, fifty thousand. Now that seems to work for me. I don't know why, but recording doesn't take up uh, take up as much resources as it does streaming, because streaming takes up your Wi-Fi, it takes up all this other stuff, which all in turn slows your PC down, but bitrate, don't know if that's up too high, but it seems to work for me no matter what, so yeah, I use that. Make sure to set this to 2, presets, mine's the high quality again, profile, main, and level and auto, more or less the same as the streaming, that's why my streams, my streams are not as good quality as my recording, but that's only because I'm using my Wi-Fi because stuff slows down a wee bit when you're doing both, but it is HD. Um, audio, you don't really want to change this, it's all kind of set there, you don't want to touch that. Um, this one, I have mine set to 48, that's the highest one I'd go for there. Channels, stereo, 
And then these are all your devices, so your, your microphone, your speakers, this kind of stuff. Mine's on default, I just keep it to my default things on my computer. Again, you can change this to whatever you're using, but mine's, I just keep my default. So this one is quite an important one. What you want to do for this one is you want to make sure that your resolution, your base resolution, is what your actual monitor resolution is. So mine is minus 1080p, which is what I've selected. And then I want to have it at 1080p again, which is what I've selected here. So these are both the same, but if you've got a smaller monitor, you might want to change that to whatever your monitor resolution is. And then I'd maybe recommend putting your resolution to this here so it kind of resizes it, which um, works for me fine. Downscale, I just have this on the middle one here. I'd keep it on, it's sharp. It's not too good, it's not too bad. I stream in 60 FPS, which is an important one for me. Mine's in 60 FPS. I mean, if you've got a slower computer, I'd recommend going down to 30 FPS until you upgrade it a wee bit, but 60 FPS works for me. Again, if you've not got a great computer, I'd stick to 30 FPS, because if you just want to stream a wee bit, you're not committing too much, you're just kind of starting off, I'd, I'd keep stuff, I'd, I'd keep it to 60 FPS. Hotkeys, I wouldn't really touch this, I just have my start recording in F9, I mean that may be quite weird because some other people have other keys, but past recordings it's always been F9, I don't exactly use F9, I just start my stream or stop my stream or start recording, stop recording, but yeah. Now advanced, this is, again this is quite an important one as well, I have mine set to high, a lot of people have this other places, but keep it on high. And I mean, again, you might want to change this if your computer's slow or if you're not getting the right output, but I'd keep it on high for just now. Just kind of copy most of what I've got and then test stuff. And then if it's not great, I'd look back at the video and kind of turn things down a wee bit. Now I've got this here. Don't keep it on OpenGL. Just trust me, direct uh, video adapter. I don't have one of them, so I'll just keep it like that. Color format, keep it on. I've, this is again. This is my graphics card. Uh, I presume it stands for Nvidia. So I just keep it on whatever your graphics card is. If you don't have a graphics card, RGB or one of the other ones, just whatever works for you. I just keep it on 601, and then full. You don't really need to change this here. This is just kind of does it itself. Uh, stream delay. You can have this if you want, but I try and have my stream as close to when I'm streaming, if, if that makes any sense. So. People in the stream are not too far behind, so there may be 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20, 25, depending on how good your Wi-Fi is. I don't want them to be too far away, so people can chat to me kind of live. Um, I might have just changed it there, did I? I might have did. Um, let me just get back to that page. Yeah, it was sent to 20, sorry. So, yeah, so you want to come down to here. I've just got this 10, 20. This is just talking about your reset. Again, I'd just leave this. I wouldn't touch it. I mean, this is automatic. I, I think mine was disabled. Just enable it. This is if your Wi-Fi disconnects, it can like, retry again. And then, this is just default. So that's more or less all the settings done. There's nothing much to do after this. It's all done and dusted. You just click apply. Mine's already the same. I'm not changing. And just in case I did, I'm going to click cancel. But you click OK, or uh, sorry, apply, then OK. And then there you go. That's you got your music in the background. You've got your audio. You can start streaming, I click start streaming, I'm not going to do that just now because I don't want to end up start streaming because I'm not going to stream tonight. Again, I'd untick this as well, make sure everyone can, can hear maybe a Minecraft game in the background or whatever. But yeah, that's more or less how you, how you stream, how you record. I mean, you could do a test recording if you wanted to, you can test all this stuff out. But yeah, you can have webcams and stuff, but I don't have a webcam at this second time. It's coming, can't wait for it, so I should be able to do some streams with webcam. But yes. That's, that's all to show you today, so I hope you enjoyed. If you've got any questions at all, I'll make sure to answer them. Or if there's something big, I'll make sure to make it, maybe make another video on it. If people want to know how to, you know, get this thing up here. Or how to make overlays and stuff like that. But yes, without further ado, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye. Lost in the stick, black sea.